Hey there guys, day 46, here in Porsche. Uh, and not a particularly exciting one to be honest. Um, yeah, not too much to report really. I went to the gym, did some shopping, did some cooking. Um, then I went for a walk to what's called Dark Park, which is a big area with a brewery and food stalls and fire pits and stuff. It's pretty nice. Uh, then I walked to Preachers, which is a nice pub with a bonfire, but there's no good seats by the bonfire, so I left there. I walked up to the um, cinema that I went to with Pete last week, which was really cool. Sat in a cafe there to do a little bit of writing. Um, such a sweet place. And, oh, most exciting thing is probably that I did bump into one of my housemates, John. I was on the phone, he came in, he told me off for not putting the bin out, and then he left, having given me a Nasty death stare. That's not too friendly for old Johnny Boy. My old mate, John. Uh, I think that was his name, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was really the biggest thrill of the day. And then I've just got text just now from Bob saying that the ground is too wet. It's been raining all day. Ground's too wet and um, I can't go into work tomorrow because it's too wet to take on olives. It's a bit of a disaster, really. Got a Monday to play with. Um, but the main thing that I wanted to talk about was this thing that had happened to me um, on Friday, which is, this man, I'm not sure of his sexuality, came up to me and told me that he'd spotted my face, me, from the other side of the room, um, because of my glorious smile. Use the word glorious. And it got me thinking, um, whether or not it is possible for anyone to give anyone of the opposite sex or same sexual orientation a compliment without it appearing to be an approach. You know, is it possible to desexualize compliments? Do you have to precursor it by saying, I'm not hitting on you, but you look good, or by saying, I'm in a relationship or I'm married and you look fantastic? Um, so I've been thinking about that really, which is quite a deep thought for me. Um, I think it's sad if you can't just compliment someone with the innocence of a. Uh, not a child, it sounds wrong, but you know, an, an innocent compliment. I hope society hasn't gone the, to a place where that's no longer possible. Um, this isn't even a random amble, this is like a, 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 a one-way philosophical discussion with myself. And any of you guys are watching it, let me know if, uh, if it is possible or if you've experienced it. Because it made my day being told that, so you know, why can't you go and make other people's days? I've often thought. Anyway, that's that really. I'm quite tired. It's my uh, th third yawn. I've just watched a film in the dark, so that's probably it. I ate some hobnobs, drunk some hot chocolate, so that should give me a sugar high, but it's down. Getting on. Long weekend. We've got another one of these. Another dark mofo weekend to come, which would be great. Got no more tickets. I'm trying to sneak into to mention on Tuesday night. So I'll let you know how I go on there, because I do know a guy on the door. Whew. Connections. Uh, so yeah, God knows what I'm going to do tomorrow if I can't farm. Haircut. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are well. I hope you enjoy your weekends. Compliment your breath. Oh, your breath smells of sweet tulips. <laughs> Butternut squash. Scott, Scott, but not scotch. Angels, angel delight. Your breath, angels delight. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye.